Hey there, everybody. Back for a little more Twilight Princess here. And, uh, second. Okay. Never mind. Oh, well, whatever. So. I need to go. This way. Let's try that. It's going to be much easier with a pony, though. Oh, and. Yay! Take me a second to get used to the controls. I've been playing a lot of uh, Ocarina of Time on the on the 3DS. Treasure chest. I don't know if I can. Looks like it. Hey! And the rest we'll do when we can have. when we can get water bombs and. Yeah, there's no second chances with that. When you drown, it's an instant game over. Rupees? Nope. That's okay, I'm pretty much maxed out anyway. Yeah, I actually don't know which opponent I like, uh... Better the one in Ocarina of Time or this one? This one's almost a little too twitchy. And the one in Ocarina of Time, well, she handles like a broken tank. So it's kind of a kind of a lose lose situation a little bit. Just a little bit. Bombs, huh? He's probably got something to say to us, maybe about water bombs? Oh, bomb arrows. Yeah, cool. Thanks. And I'm pretty sure we can do this. Piece of heart or a rupee up here. So. Excuse me, something. Speaking of parkour, Skyward Sword. Um, supposedly Link has a new ability to. Well, first there's the stamina meter. That's the biggest thing. And what that allows him to do is sprint 
for limited periods of time. And you can sort of run toward uh, a ledge you wouldn't be able to get. I thought so. I thought so. Now, if I can not jump off the cliff here. Awesome. But, I uh, say there's a ledge that's just out of reach. You know, there's the, there's the auto-climb mechanic that's been in pretty much every Zelda game since Ocarina of Time. And if he can't reach the ledge, you can sprint toward the wall and he'll jump up and parkour to it. Ow. You know what? You gonna mess with me? Come on. Come on! So that's a pretty neat little feature. Oh, hold up. Ah, it's stuck! collect as many of these as possible. Ah, there it is. Yay! Yeah, so anyway, that's one of the things they're introducing. They're introducing an upgrade mechanic um, to upgrade weapons. So, uh, they remain useful throughout the entire game instead of only for a short period. And... Question is, can I bust through these? I don't want to waste a bomb and an arrow if I can't. Yay! Great. So now we can't go back. And that's... I struggled to find that. I'd have to go all the way around. So many times. But now I know where it is. So we can get that back pretty easily. I don't know if I can defeat him right now. Or if they just make it so that you can't get over there. Yay! Oh, hold up. Phone call, I gotta take this.